Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change from the next percent and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So if I was given this problem from, what was it, a doozy? It's a doozy of a day. 4048 minutes to 7548 minutes. So four zero four eight minutes is seven five four eight minutes. Okay, four thousand forty eight to seven thousand five hundred forty eight. Was well, that an increase or a decrease? And we're going up, right? We're going up over three thousand minutes here. So what's the increase here? Increase. Got an increase. So let's go find the difference between these two numbers. I take a larger one, seven thousand five forty eight. The process is still the same, even though it's a larger number. Minus 4, 0, 4, 8. Subtract the 2. 8 minus 8, this is easy. 0, 4 minus 4, 0, 5. <laughs> 5 minus 0 is a 5, and 7 minus 4 is a 3. So it's a pretty easy 3,500 here uh, difference. So we take that 3,500 and we divide it by 4, 0, 4, 8. Let me use my calculator for this one. Okay, let's me have decimal 3, 5, 0, 0. Divided by 4048, and we got approximately 0 0.86462. Right? 86462. Yep, just double check that. So approximately 0 0.86462. I need to convert that to be a percent. So I take that decimal and I move it to the right two units. 1, 2. So we have 86.462. 86.462%, 86.462%. I need to rewrite that to be rounded to the nearest percent, right? So that 4, that 4 here, that 0.4, causes the 6 to stay down, say it uh, rounds it down to be just an 86. So we have a final answer here of 86% of an increase we were going up, right? So just because it was a large number doesn't mean the percent increase was over 100%. It was a large percent, 86% is a large percent. But just because they're large numbers doesn't mean it's all relative here. So let's recap. We started from 4,048 minutes to 7,548 minutes. I recognized first that that was an increase. I then found the difference between the two numbers and it came out to be 3,500. I took that 3,500 and divided it by the first number. 4,048 to get approximately 0 0.86462. I converted that decimal to be a percent by moving the decimal two units to the right. So we have 86.462%. I needed to round that, so I look at the tenths positions here, and that 0.4, and the 0.4 there rounds the six uh, down. So we're left with just an 86%. So our final answer here, when it's all said and done, right, is an 86% increase.